5,000. This is the number of missiles Russia fired at Ukraine in 2022. Each of them carried hundreds of kilograms of explosives, having a single purpose – kill and destroy. 5,000 missiles are enough to eradicate the infrastructure of any existing country. However, Russians didn't achieve this in Ukraine. Why did they fail? What exactly is a missile? And how can one intercept a projectile that flies at enormous speed? Learn in today's United24 video. Missiles capable of striking targets in a thousand kilometers range were first invented in Nazi Germany. They come in two different types, cruise and ballistic missiles. Cruise missiles fly at a low altitude and can change their route to avoid interception by anti-aircraft forces. Among the disadvantages of this weapon is its relatively low speed. For example, the most used Russian caliber missile reaches a velocity of 972 km per hour. However, it is worth noting that a relatively low speed doesn't mean slow. Caliber covers 15 km in a minute. Let's use the most popular anti-aircraft system for the past 10 years against it. The NASAMS system, designed by the USA and Norway. It is these systems that protect the sky over the White House, for example. NASAMS can identify a missile in a range of 30 kilometers. Now here's some math. With the speed of a missile being 15 kilometers per hour, the anti-aircraft crew will only have two minutes to intercept caliber. By the way, what happens if a missile is not intercepted? On average, each missile carries a warhead weighing up to 500 kilograms. In this case, the filling can be of a high explosive fragmentation, clustered or thermobaric type. The first type is so powerful, it creates 10-meter deep craters. The second scatters small mines on a large territory. And the third incinerates everything in a 50 to 100 meters radius. The consequences of using each kind of a cruise missile can be found in Ukraine's peaceful cities. Compared to the cruise missiles, ballistic ones are more complicated to deal with, as they strike a target from 10th kilometers altitude. Flying that high allows the missiles to reach incredible speed. For example, the old Tochka U, which is officially not in service in the Russian army, but is still used there, reaches a velocity of 4,000 km per hour. Meanwhile, the brand new Kinshal can reach a speed of 9,000 km per hour. Interception of such missiles is a complicated process, as it is only possible within a time frame of a few seconds. Also, ballistic missiles fly down almost vertically to strike their target, which means that after an interception, tons of metal and explosives are still flying down to reach the ground. But what means of defending its skies does Ukraine have? Before the full-scale invasion, Ukrainians operated the Soviet S-300, which strikes aerial targets at a 75 km range, and the Buk M1 with a range of 40 km. Apart from that, missiles can also be intercepted with airplanes that use air-to-air -air missiles. At the same time, Russians launched Shahed Kamikaze drones bought from Iran. Due to the high price of the missiles, where one caliber, for example, costs around $6.5 million, such attacks cost Russia hundreds of millions of dollars. To intercept hundreds of aerial targets, we need systems equipped with powerful radars that constantly scan the skies to identify the missile launch. Thanks to the support of the Allies, starting from the fall, Ukraine began to receive such systems. German Iris T and American Norwegian NASAMS. A battery of 9 to 12 of such complexes is capable of launching 54 to 72 anti-aircraft projectiles in just 12 seconds. Ukrainians learn fast and currently intercept nearly 70 to 75 percent of missiles, all thanks to the Western weapons and the skill of the anti-aircraft crews. This fall, the critical infrastructure of Ukraine has become Russia's prime target. Understanding that he is incapable of gaining victory on the battlefield, Putin attacks power plants all across Ukraine. To conduct more strikes, Russia intends to buy ballistic missiles from Iran. Moscow spends billions to deprive people of electricity and heating at their homes. Apart from that, every day people in various Ukrainian towns hear this sound. Air alert!
You can help Ukrainians to save their homes from weapons that fly thousands of kilometers to kill. Share this video and make a donation to allow the forces of good to defend their freedom.